Precision Watch, on behalf of its thousands of crew and jewelers all over America, brings you Blind Date, America's most romantic program starring lovely Arlene Francis. to hear all that enthusiasm, and my beautiful Gruen Precision Watch tells me it's time. Time for boy to meet girl, time for boy to date girl, and we're very happy indeed to have you on hand for our blind dating. Well, tonight is Father's Night on Blind Date. The fathers are going to speak for the boys, fathers are going to speak for the girls, and remember, they haven't seen each other before or talked to each other. It's all going to happen right before your very eyes, and so let's see now whether the fathers can do as well as their children. First, I want you to meet uh, our first young lady on the program and her father, Alice Murphy and Mr. Murphy. Well, now, how do you feel, Mr. Murphy? Just fine. Perhaps you can answer a question for me that I always meant to ask other Murphys. Why do they call potatoes Murphys and not O'Toole's or Flanagan's or McGillica Duggies? Huh? Well, I don't know. They're mighty good eating. I know that. <laughs> mighty good eating, the Murphys, huh? Mr. Murphy, what sort of work do you do? Well, I'm retired just now. What did you retire from? I, uh, I have been in the Navy. Really? How long? Uh, 33 years. Oh, that's a long time, isn't it? 33 years. Well, I'm, I'm sure the Navy must have been very proud of you. Well, I... 33 I'm... years. Think you'll get a steady job next time? I'm going to try. <laughs> Well, now, tonight we're going to find out if the old salt has lots of pepper when he talks for his daughter. Do you think you'll be able to do pretty well I'll for her? I'll do my best. And this is uh, Alice, right? Right. What sort of work are you doing, Alice? Well, I'm uh, selling rattlesnake meat. Selling rattlesnake <laughs> meat? Yes. Well, it would take somebody as beautiful as you to sell it. I'm sure of that. Seems Various other things, too. Oh, I, I presume you work in a place where they sell all sorts of delicacies. Mm -hmm. Is that the idea? The gourmet bizarre. Well, there's nothing rattlesnakey about the two boys tonight, I'll tell you that. And I wish you both good luck with them, and especially you, Mr. Murphy, because Thank you have you. to make the decision. And now let's meet the first two contestants, Ian Weber and Tom Greening. <laughs> Ian Weber on my left? That's right. And this is Tom Greening? That's right, Arlene. Well, you boys know that whoever wins this date tonight uh, goes in a beautiful chauffeured limousine over to the Copacabana, sees a wonderful show, dines, dances, and has a marvelous evening. So That's work amazing. hard. <laughs> it's for both of you. And we'll see which one is going to really make the grade. Now, I think I'll talk to Ian first, if I may. Right, Tom, right. will you sit down just a minute? Where do you go to school, Ian? Fordham University, Arlene. Fordham, what do you uh, major in there? Economics. What do you hope to do with it? Well, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to do much with it. I'm going to the Marine Corps. Are you really? Yes. Well, that's not going to be a career, though, is it? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look as though you'd make a great, good, tough Marine, too. Thank you. <laughs> what do you play, football? Oh, I did a little bit in high You school. did? Well, with economics, you'll, uh, what will that mean? Advertising business or something like that later I on? I hope to, yes. You have to be a salesman first, you know. Yes. <laughs> first, we have to find out how well you can sell yourself tonight. That's the important thing. Think you'll be able to sell yourself pretty well I, to this girl's father? I think so. <laughs> well, was your father in the advertising business? No, he's a salesman. <laughs> he's a salesman. <laughs> in what business? He's in the printing company. In the printing company? Yes. Yeah. Looked at you and decided you were the right type, I take it, huh? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, this uh, lovely young lady has a very nice father by the name of Mr. Murphy. He is now sitting in his study. Uh, college boys don't know what studies are. Well, that's no. a room with a lot of books in it. And he's sitting there reading a book, and I want you to go in and see if you can persuade him to let his daughter go out with you. And first, I want to give you... I want to give you some slippers to sort of make him comfortable and everything. Okay. You call this working from the bottom up. Good luck with Mr. Murphy, Ian. Thank you. Oh, good evening, Mr. Murphy. Good My evening. name is Ian Weber. Glad to know you, sir. Glad to know you, uh, Mr. Weber. I understand you have a beautiful daughter. Yes. Well, if you have a beautiful daughter, then you want to go out in good company. Yes. Well, then naturally, you want to go out with me this evening. Oh, I don't know about that. Now, up to this point, I'm doing pretty well. Why don't you sit back here and relax? As long as you're retired, we'll put your feet up on it. That is fine. That's fine. Well, let's see if we can get these slippers on here. Hope we get the right foot. Yeah, we put our foot into that one, didn't we? Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, your feet are almost as big as mine. Thanks, yeah, Tom. Now, let's sit here and we'll have a talk. Okay. How about a cigar, Mr. Murphy? Uh, uh, thank you. 
the dates tonight. Oh, in that case, that was good one. <laughs> uh, say, what kind of work do you do? Uh, well, I, as I told, that's the end, as I told Arlene, I, uh, I'm going to school right now. Oh, uh, well, my daughter goes to school, too. Well, Mr. Murphy, if she's as smart as you are, then uh, she must be at the head of the class. Well, uh, she's studying psychology. <laughs> Okay, now let's talk to Mr. Greeny. Tom, where do you go to school, Tom? I go to Yale. Good, good school, Yale. Greening, is that That's right? That's right. Ah, oh, there's a Yale man out front. <laughs> uh, is that your dad out there I rooting know. for I you? Don't think so. <laughs> greening, isn't there a kind of apple by there the name? There sure is. Greening That's apple. That's right. It's well, green too. It's green. Mm -hmm. Is that how it got his name? I suppose I think so. so. Well, we have to find out tonight whether you're going to be the apple of this girl's no, eye. No. So your name is very appropriate. It seems that Mr. Murphy, who uh, uh, Ian just spoke to, has gone from the study into the kitchen now, and uh, he's washing dishes in there. Now, you just go in and see if you can persuade him uh, to let you go out with a different kind of dish. His daughter, a very pretty dish indeed. Do you uh, have a major at Yale? That... I'm a psychology major. Are you a psychology right. major? Well, that's what his, do his, his daughter is studying. Well, well, I'll get along real well, I guess. Why, yes, you may have a wonderful evening. You may take the father with you. No. All right, good luck to you now with there Mr. Murphy. Oh, I'm Tom. Uh, I'd like to talk to Arlene's fa uh, to Alice's father. I'm Alice's father. Oh, gee, I could have sworn you were her brother. Well, keep on talking. <laughs> You're doing very well. Well, uh, I'd like very much to take uh, Alice out tonight. Oh, uh, well, there's certain qualifications before you can do that. Well, anything you say, sir. Fine. Just grab a towel here and help dry these <laughs> well, well, I've got to look neat for this date tonight, sir. Okay, suit yourself, son. No drying, no date. Oh, I, I've got a towel. Or an apron. I'll put on an apron, too. I'm not... Okay. Let's see what you can do. Oh, oh, nobody I know is watching me. Oh, that's it. all right. Oh, uh, just skip it, Tom. Well, Forget it. That's Forget one it. I won't have to dry. Yeah. Forget it. Uh, well, sir, what was this other boy I like that was in here trying to get a date? Well, uh, he was a pretty nice boy. He uh, put on my slippers and he gave me some mighty fine cigars. Uh, in fact, I like both of you. I'd like to see you both have a good time tonight. You mean you want us both to go out with Alice tonight? Oh, no. I, I thought the other lad could take Alice out and you could uh, play checkers with me. Oh, sir, I, I wouldn't want to impose on your hospitality any, sir. <laughs> Now, now, Mr. Murphy, you can take that off. If it was too uncomfortable, you did a fine job speaking on behalf you. of your daughter. Now, which of these boys do you think have the most equipment for her to go out with tonight? Is it the first young man, uh, Ian, or the second Tom? I think it'll be the second Tom. The second Tom? Or the <laughs> Alice, come on! You go over there and get Tom Greening, victorious, come through Yale. Come in. Hello. <laughs> That's our Kevlar father's in the room. <laughs> right over here. I think you did a very nice job, Thank daughter, you. Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. They were both splendid, but anyway, we could only choose one tonight, and you did awfully well. Thank you so much. And first, I must give you a flower to give you There it is. Aren't they beautiful orchids to pin on your gal? That's right. And you want to sit down right over there? I don't know whether the daughter is proudest of the father or the father proudest of the daughter tonight. But I do know that a day is coming up very soon now when a lot of fathers, and yes, a lot of mothers, are going to be awfully proud of their sons and daughters.